is what happened one night at the bird feeding station. Look behind the fence there, uh, right of center, and you'll see a glowing eye. Oh, there's the pair of eyes peeking through the fence at the prize. What on earth could this be? It's my old buddy, Rascal the Raccoon. No, I'll tell you, raccoons are not welcome in the bird garden at the bird feeding station for a couple of reasons. Obviously, they're known to carry rabies, and I just don't want those creatures uh, around here. They could be ill with rabies already. They can be aggressive. I do have other pets, and I want the seed in the feeders to feed the birds, not the raccoons. And if you <laughs> shaking up the place, they can be destructive. Now, notice how the feeders are situated, and watch how that changes just at the will of these furry little monsters. Yes, they're cute. They really are little bandits, got their mask on. But these guys just had their way with our bird feeding station. And when I got up in the morning, I saw the carnage, which you'll see. You'll see the mess they left the bird feeding station in. Look at that block there in the wooden cage feeder that rascal's helping himself to right now. It's a full brand new block of dried mealworms and bird seed. Well, apparently birds aren't the only ones who are crazy about dried mealworms. Notice it's a full block. It's a brand new block. And then take note at the end of the video uh, how much of that food block is left for the poor birds. I'm going to speed it up here because it's just a uh, lather, rinse, repeat, just chowing down like there's no end in sight. It's just a all-you-can-eat buffet. This guy thinks he's at the Golden Corral for raccoons. And uh, he's, he's not going to stop. He's going to keep going. If you notice the time there, it's 1.35 a.m. now. And then he leaves. Okay, thank you. Man, it could have been worse. Look at the mess he left in that feeding station. Oh, wait, he's back. Okay, so uh, I don't know if something scared him off or he just remembered he was still hungry, but he came back. Now he looks like Jerry Lee Lewis playing the piano. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Look what I found here. What have we got? Oh, no, look behind the fence. Did you see another set of eyes peering through? I did. And watching this video, I think there's at least three sets of eyes in the dark. That security camera that we're using to film with is operating on infrared power. That's why the eyes are glowing. I think there were three sets of eyes this night. It's 3.42 now if you're keeping an eye on the clock. So we started around 1 a.m. Now we're a couple hours into this thing. There's an eyeball, pair of eyes behind the fence, but only two, uh, at least two at a time. I didn't see three at one time in the video. If you do, leave me a comment below. Uh, if you can understand uh, waking up to the bird feeding station being a mess, rewinding the tape and seeing this, if you can feel my frustration, leave a, leave a comment below. If you like this video, if you like nature because it's mostly relaxing and you can definitely learn from it, uh, I enjoy watching it even though it's a little frustrating seeing raccoons eat my bird food, uh, hit the like button. Turn that gray thumb blue. If you like nature videos, especially birds, then go ahead and subscribe to the Bird Garden channel because we've got a lot of content for you. I'm going to put a link up in the upper right-hand corner where you see the uh, temperature right now. It was 50 degrees, 3.43 a.m. right now in our video. Two raccoons, Rascal and Buddy, the raccoons, just having a ball. Hey, look, look what we're doing. Look at this. And uh, I don't know, maybe they're eating other people's bird food also because these guys obviously haven't missed a meal in a while. They're fluffy, they're fluffy raccoons. But anyway, up there in the upper right-hand corner where it says 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll put a link uh, to another video of why it's important to me to keep this seed around for the birds. I'll put a link up there to one of the bird show videos where the Birds were just going crazy on this feeding station. Even though it's 50 degrees now, there's forecast of snow 
Uh, maybe you can see that in the ticker at the bottom of your screen. That's real-time AccuWeather. Uh, this was just after Thanksgiving, 1128, with rain and thunderstorms uh, moved in. Right behind them, we had a little snowstorm, a couple inches of snow. So the, the temperature was dropping. The weather was changing. These guys were just stocking up. It's like they've already got a hollow log picked out to go hibernate in, and uh, <laughs> they need to get their last roll of fat on before that winter nap sets in. So here we go. Jerry Lee Lewis still uh, tickling those ivory right there. You can see that brand new block of foods already about a, a third smaller than it started when they got here about one o'clock. It's 345. And in just a moment or two here, I'm going to go back in to fast motion. We're going to speed this up. Keep your eye on the clock uh, and understand that these guys didn't come by to say hello. They were on a mission and they fulfilled their mission. Now, once this guy understands that he can use his paws, very dexterous. These guys, the dexterity, crazy. Hand-eye coordination, agility. It's hard to battle against these guys. Um, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how I battle against them the best I can do, as humanely as possible. They've got to make a living too. I just don't want them doing it on my bird food. He learned to stick his paws in the bottom of the wooden cage feeder, scrape out the food, and then just have as much as he liked. Okay, there in fast motion. It's 354. He's out of there, but not for long. And then you can see the block is reduced to about half, that block of food. Um, he's just checking the platform feeder, making sure he hasn't missed anything in the platform feeder that he might like. Lee, he's not eating the suet. Uh, until I said he's not eating the suet. And now he can't eat the suet uh, neatly. He's got to push the suet feeder all around. It's uh, really, really getting on my nerves there with this bad etiquette, this bad raccoon etiquette. Now, I wonder, can he get through the fence? I guess he did. He got back through the fence. It's 6.53 now, and the first birds are arriving. These are a pair of cardinals. And uh, they're just looking at each other, wondering, like, man, what happened here last night? We left after supper last night. This place was in order, well stocked. And the sun comes up, the bluebirds come in and make, hey, listen, it's okay. We're going to get by this. We're going to get through this. It's okay. We don't seem to mind. The furniture's been rearranged. So what? Everybody come on in. It's okay. Here we are. So I guess um, at the end of the invasion, everything is okay. It's going to work out. The birds really don't seem to mind. They're not nearly as frustrated as I am. Those bluebirds are beautiful. That's the eastern bluebird. They nest in the yard, and then some of them hang around all winter. Well, time to get busy. Those things aren't going to straighten themselves out. So yours truly is out there rearranging the furniture the way I want it. I can't believe how much food is missing out of that, <laughs> that wooden cage feeder. It'll all work out. I've got to move this and twist that and push this up a little bit and move that over, just some minor damage. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to leave you with some music and another look at the Bird Garden Feeding Station. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for another one.